Hello. I'd like to highlight some of the web services that NGA has made available to the public through G1 Online in response to the earthquake that devastated Haiti in January 2010. NGA is helping to support natural disaster operations by providing quick access to critical information through improved online and discovery tools. By clicking on the satellite imagery and map viewer link, you'll be directed to a 2D web-based view centered on Haiti. This 2D representation uses Microsoft Virtual Earth as a base and is layered with NGA crisis information seen here on the right hand side. By clicking on the NGA crisis imagery layer you'll see current imagery from our next few partners. This imagery can be layered with other geospatial information such as NGA damage assessments or LIDAR to give disaster responders a better understanding of the crisis. We've also partnered with other federal agencies, such as the USGS, to bring in additional layers, such as this high-resolution airborne imagery. All of these layers provide additional viewpoints to depict the areas of greatest need or concern. NGA is also providing standard map products over Haiti as a selectable layer. Just like the other layers, as you zoom in or out, the maps adjust based on your desired view. We're also brokering all this information out in one Google Earth feed. If you click on our Google Earth page and open up the KML link, all the same information I just talked about in the 2D browser is available in your 3D client. Just like the 2D view, we're providing our NGA maps, crisis imagery, and LiDAR information in one simple interface. By selecting your desired layers, you can truly get a sense for what's going on during a major disaster. If you select the LiDAR tab, you can see an outline depicting the area of coverage. If you continue to zoom in, this viewpoint will change to provide a LiDAR overlay that can be blended with other crisis information. For GIS professionals, we've set up a web mapping service that allows users to access critical GeoInt needed to construct new products. Depending on your specific needs, users can select from multiple layers, such as damage assessments, crisis imagery, or even NGA maps to create those new products. Finally, we use a process called SMTS, or Standard Metadata Tagging Service, to tag new products. Essentially, this process allows us to organize and streamline new products as a GeoRSS feed. These products are then tagged with relevant information such as Haiti, crisis, earthquake, disaster, or damage. Anything that helps us to identify that new product in context to the disaster. Using SMTS helps us to streamline this vast amount of GeoInt to directly serve end users working the disaster response mission.